Hi, this is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to design from scratch a biaxial slender concrete column using as deep concrete. This is the statement of the problem. The column is 20 feet long. The column size has been uh, defined by the architectural uh, requirements. It's 18 by 18 inches. The column is a non-sway column, which means that uh, the lateral stability of the building doesn't depend on the column, but uh, there's another uh, lateral resisting element like uh, shear walls. Nevertheless, the column has some moments due to wind because of uh, the formation compatibility. Uh, some uh, actual loads are applied to the column, death 250 kips, life 150 kips, and wind 22 kips. So let's get started. When you open as deep concrete and create a calculation for a concrete column, this is the form that shows up. The values here are default and uh, don't mean anything to the to this particular example. So we can change anything. Let's get started with the uh, information that uh, was given at the, at the statement of the problem. Uh, the length of the column is 20 feet and uh, kx and ky is 1.0, so the effective length is 20 feet. Let's input that. The column length is 20 feet, and the effective factors are 1.0 and 1.0, both. We said that the column is a non-sway column. This information about the reverse, we'll uh, input that later, but for now, let's input the size that is given, 18 by 18. the materials. Concrete strength, this is a biaxial slender column, so probably we can start with a 5 KSI concrete strength, and the reverse are okay, 60. The loads are also given. This is a biaxial column, so let's check this box. Let's use a set of nominal load cases, because uh, we were given the dead and life and wind loads, so it's a load cases uh, scenario, and the moment will be amplified as necessary. So this is a first uh, order analysis uh, loads. The loads are 250 kips dead. Let's input that, 250 kips. No moments for a dead. Life, 150. No moments. No roof life. No snow. No seismic. But wind. We have some loads. 22, 22 kips. And we have some moments. The moments are minus 40 and 70. The moments have opposite sign, which means that uh, the column is in double curvature. So it's minus 40 and 70, both uh, X and Y. Minus 40 and 70. Minus 40 and 70. So we have input all the, all the information from the statement. Uh, basically, we can see how the moment uh, magnification uh, analysis is going to be. Uh, this is the, the load combinations. Uh, these are the maximum moments from uh, the loads. And uh, this is the table that shows the, uh, the analysis for the mag magnification uh, factors, which has deltas 1.27 maximum, which is OK, it's less than 1.4 as uh, per ACI. So this is the magnified factor in both directions, in X and Y. So we accept the table. So let's go back to the geometry. And uh, with 18 by 18 and using this configuration of reverse, number 8, 3 at the top, 3 at the bottom, and 1 left and right, looks like this. 
three at the top, three at the bottom, and one each side. So it's eight rebars, number eight. With that configuration, reinforcement area, reinforcement ratio is 2%, more than the minimum, which is 1%, which is okay. Graphically, we can see immediately that the loads are okay I, inside of the usable area of the interaction diagram. In the At a Glance tab, you can see the results uh, in just one page. This is the interaction diagram generated by the program, the values, the more important points in the interaction diagram. These are the amplified loads per load combination. These are the given actual loads, and these are the amplified moments in one direction, the amplified moments in the other direction. Since the loads were exactly the same, symmetrical in both directions, you know, both moments in X and Y are exactly the same. All these uh, amplified moments pass because the magnification factor is less than 1.4, so they are okay, all of them. The column strength, basically the program calculates the capacity of the column, which is this line graphically, and uh, the program calculates what is the moment for a given actual load level. For example, for this particular load, at this actual load level, this would be the capacity of the column. So meaning the program compares the moment, the amplified moment represented by this point and the column capacity represented by this line over here at this same level of the actual load. This is represented in this table there. So for a given actual load level, this is the applied load and uh, this is the capacity of the column. So since phi mn is more than mu, all these combinations are, are okay. In the Constance tab, you can see a more detailed uh, set of calculations with uh, you know, the tables showing the amplification analysis in X and in Y. Here is the interaction diagram with more, more detail. And here is the column strength per load combination as well with more detail on how the capacity was uh, calculated. In the detail tab, you can see even a more detailed set of calculations, step-by-step -step calculations with exposed formulas for the amplified loads and also references to the ACI code. In the column strength area, uh, there's a description of how the calculation of uh, the interaction diagram was, was done internally by the program. And finally, graphically, the program calculates the interaction diagram for any rotation angle. This is a biaxial column, so the program also calculates the uh, 3D interaction diagram, which can be rotated with the mouse. And the interaction diagram can be developed for any rotation angle. For example, in this case, we need to know the 45 degree rotation. So we put here 45 degrees. And this is the interaction diagram that applies. This is the nominal and this is the design curve. We can just eliminate this nominal. And this is the design curve more you know, larger and also in, in, in 3D or you can see both nominal and design at, this, at the, same, the same chart. Also, you can uh, show the splicing regions, you know, the loads falling in this area are the tension splices and the compression splices in, the, in this area over there. So as you can see the design of this column is uh, adequate for uh, for these given loads. Uh, probably we could refine a little bit more the rebars. 
we can you know reduce a little bit the capacity of the column and and, and be more more optimized. Uh, probably this is okay. Leave it the way it is, considering that it's a biaxial slender column. The interaction diagram shows that the column capacity is okay for the for the given loads. The report, we can see the contents report. It's a predefined document, preformatted, where the amplified moments in the other direction, the interaction diagram, the column strength area, and finally the interaction diagram in 2D and in 3D. Likewise, we can see the detailed report. which is four pages, similar similar way, graphically. So this report can be printed out and can be shown to your clients, to your co-workers, to your checker, or your for, for your records. So as you can see, it's very easy to design a concrete column using as the concrete, uh, just to check, for example, if the column were a sway column, what would happen? Then let's see, graphically, if this column where sway, you know, this load would be larger than uh, a non-sway. So it's a probably small difference in this uh, in this example, but this would be the difference. So as you can see, you can compare different scenarios if it's sway or non-sway with different uh, slenderness ratios of the of the column. You can apply different kind of loads, moments. If it's single curvature or double curvature, you can specify a single load or a set of uh, load cases and the program internally combines them. This is the load combinations area, uh, SS710 or as is 705 So the program is very handy and uh, gives you results immediately and simplifies uh, all the design effort. So thank you for your attention and we'll see you in the next video.